knickknackers. So we are back and today we are canning. It is called zucchini and pineapple juice. A lot of people call this faux pineapple. It has, um, when it's done, the texture of pineapple, the flavor of pineapple, it is delicious. I made it a couple years ago. Um, I did it with shredded zucchini last time and it was fantastic in zucchini bread. This time I'm doing it more in chunks. I'll kind of pick you up here because I don't know if you can really, there's the pineapple chunks. This recipe is from the Ball Blue Book Guide to Preserving and it's on page 27, the zucchini and pineapple juice. So it calls for four quarts of peeled and cut and de-seeded zucchini and I think a lot of us have zucchini that's going crazy in the garden right now. So I have already cut up and just measured out the 16 cups of the zucchini in there. So now I'm going to add my three cups of sugar. So we'll do the three cups. One, two, three. And it calls for 46 ounces of bottled unsweetened pineapple juice. The Dole pineapple juice, let's see, right there is pretty much the only pineapple juice that I can find. So that's the one that I'm using. Go ahead and just open that up. I shook it real good and I'll pop a hole in it. I'll pour that in there. I'm sorry, my tripod does not really give you a very good picture, does it? Beck and I were thinking a tripod might be beneficial, but now it might work better if she's just filming me. I think she gets a better picture. So I got that in there. And we need one and a half cups of bottled lemon juice. cup and that's about half a cup right there all right so the directions say to stir it up and bring it to a boil and then we're going to simmer for about 20 minutes so once this has got up to boiling and is to simmering, I will bring you back and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll be ready to jar it up then. All right, so this is done simmering. It's been simmering for 20 minutes. So we can go ahead and start jarring it up. One of the dogs in the background, she's eaten. She's a Boston Terrier and she snorts and likes to make lots of noise. All right, so the directions say to fill this to a half inch head space. I'm not sure how many jars I'm gonna get out of this. The recipe says I should get about eight pint jars, but I'm looking at this and I'm not thinking we're gonna get eight pint jars, but we'll see. that to about oh I may end up having to take some of that out. Let's see here. I'm gonna debubble. We got those chunks of zucchini in there. Oh actually that looks pretty good. Okay. Wipe the rim off. Where did I put my, there it is. There. And for 
first jar. Looks pretty tasty. So my, my goal with doing this is to show you how I can certain things and then come back later and show you how I use some of my canned goods. Some people are like, you know, they, they would love to can, but after you can it, what do you do with it? Um, so hopefully this will give you guys an idea of, you know, ideas to kind of change up the menu a little bit or... Um, kind of do th maybe different things that you already make. Maybe just make them in a little different way. So get that. Double that. About to a half inch of this. One more jar down. Let's get that in there. And I will bring you back when I am done getting it all in the jars. All right, so I got six pints of the faux pineapple. And, well, I guess five really full pints. And then one of those has about three quarters of it full of the zucchini with the pineapple juice. And then... Uh, these two, I don't want to get my finger in there, but those two right there, uh, those are just the juice. I didn't want to waste it, so I'm going to go ahead and can that up, and um, we can just drink it as is. It'll be a little sweeter than the stuff coming out of the can. might have a little different flavor because of the zucchini, but it will be delicious nonetheless. So I'm going to put the lid on and get that up to boiling, and let's see, how much does it have to, it needs to process... For um, 15 minutes, but again, for my altitude, I will be adding five, so it's going to go for 20 minutes, and I'll bring you back when it's all done. All right, so I let it set once it got done boiling for 10 minutes, um, and then took the lid off, and it's been sitting for 10 minutes, so now we'll go ahead and take these jars out, and look at that. Faux pineapple. Looks good over here and put these on the rack and we'll let them set for the 24 hours and then I'll wash the jars and remove the rings and get them on the shelves. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. All right, so I just thought I would show you guys um, what the pineapple and the zucchini look like together. This is, where's my finger at? That is the faux pineapple that we canned up. And that is some pineapple that I canned up a few months ago. So they look very similar. Um, they taste very similar. So anyway, I just thought you might wanna see them side by side. Thanks for watching, bye bye.